Ace Set 2 was released in February 24, 2000, and it was the fourth set in the Pokemon TCG. This was an international exclusive set because it did not have a Japanese counterpart to it. It contained reprints of the base set and jungle expansion, with no new cards being added. In this series, both Kiri and myself will open a booster box of 36 packs, and we will construct decks with our pools and have a best of one. And the winner will receive a spin on the wheel. However, in each episode, we will move on to the next set in chronological order, constantly improving our decks and battling for a spin on the wheel. Join us on this journey with our Pokemon TCG progression series. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, dude. Come back with the comeback win, dude. Whew. After that Mr. Mime, dude. After all that salt that piled up on me. <laughs> We're back. We're back in the winner's circle, baby. And with this, we get to spin our very first wheel. Um, last episode, um, uh, Alvin pretty much explained this. Um, uh, he pretty much explained what everything was. Let's see what we get. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Give me something good. Now I see how I felt. That's shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. That's pretty... Uh, <laughs> so anticlimactic. Alright, guys. Well, I got a comment. Um, let's figure out what we get. I just took a moment to, to take a look at uh, my collections, what's in the set, and yeah, um, I have all commons, um, which pretty much sucks. I mean, I don't get anything new, so I was hoping maybe it was something, but then again, with 36 packs opening, you're going to have all commons, and I have play sets of everything, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just take up Slowpoke. All right, guys, let's get to the pack opening. Hey there, guys. <laughs> Kitty here, and... I guess welcome to the loser side of the uh, board. Um, yeah, it wasn't um, it wasn't the greatest battle I had, but I mean we had our we had our moments, we had our comebacks. But in the end, we weren't able to win against Derek's uh, I guess water deck. It was I guess it was just too good. And um, I mean I, w I like I said I was pretty confident in my uh, my own grass deck, but uh, I guess it was just wasn't enough. I didn't get enough of the draw power I needed to uh, get to that to get to that win but anywho uh, we're gonna be here at a we're here at base set 2 uh, basically um, this is basically like a reprint set of both the base set and the jungle uh, combining the two uh, which means we get we get a lot of opportunities to get uh, some of the cards that we missed out from both sets uh, such as uh, computer search, we get another or any of the powerhouse uh, Pokemon that we were uh, we were limited to, or we didn't get at all, like the Alakazam, the Blastoise, Gyarados, Charizard, uh, the Hitmonchan, the Electabuzz. Um, I believe I did say computer search, yeah, and then also the powerful trainer cards, like the computer search. Uh, the item finder, which is like probably the best one out of the whole bit, uh, and then some of the cards that um, we can uh, obviously use, like such as like the energy, like hopefully more double colorless or uh, any of the energies that we were lacking more of to improve our to create new decks, like new typings. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think there's really much else to explain. Uh, pretty much. Uh, like I said before, there's like uh, a bunch of cards here I want to get um, that we missed out on. Uh, computer search, specifically item finder. Uh, Trader would be good as well. And um, let's see, I guess we're like the uh, guess for the Pokemon that we were missing. Uh, hopefully we would get uh, another like copy of like a Blastoise, Gyarados, or even Alakazam. Heck, if I can even get a chance at a Charizard or. Uh, Hitmonchan, or v, like another copy of Venus, or who knows? Uh, it's limitless in this uh, base set too. So uh, without further ado, guys, uh, we're just gonna go ahead open the packs for um, for base set two. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I believe I did have it set to thirty-six. Yep. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, let's go ahead and begin. 
this uh booster box opening. Okay, not bad. We got the we got the Venusaur second copy. Always good to have. Uh, we can uh, totally improve like a, the grass deck with this. And uh, yeah, so let's keep going. You know, it's great too because like uh, at least for uh, this set, since um, we were only able to get the the energies in one booster box from the first set, it, it was kind of hard to like kind of manage like. How you want to like, uh, like, I guess in my terms, like, of how like we want to use, um, like energy because, like, I'm always had to, like, either had to, like, using both or abandoning one, and I'm always, like, struggling against trying to get the energy. So, you know, uh, but anywho, we did get something new here. We got a nine tails, uh, something we didn't pack before, which is really good. Like, I feel like, uh, if I want to run a fire deck, I could use uh the nine tails on our uh on our deck mm, second copy of the queen okay and we got a magmar uh to uh count count two to that um uh... oh my goodness the second copy of venusaur okay uh and a double colorless. That's actually good because I believe we have two, if not one. So it's always good to have at least a uh, double colorless. Could probably use like a playset if it's necessary. But I mean, yeah, it might be too excessive. But I don't know. It depends. It depends on how I want to run uh, the deck for this episode. No freaking way! <laughs> there. Well, I think I just got the playset. Uh, the Venusaur, because I remember, I believe I have one from the from the original base set. So, hey man, if I go Venusaur, if I go Venusaur with this uh, this episode, like I'm for it. Okay, I got I got a second copy of a uh, Clefable of. Um, Oh, at least the first one from this set. I do have a Clefable from uh, the jungle. Um, oh, hopefully we get the uh, Clefairy, which would be really good. At least like two copies, because um, basically the Clefairy would be dead in my like collection if I don't get the Clefairies. Oh, here we got something interesting. We got the Beedrill. Um, we didn't pack this before. Um... Just decent, like decent damage. Uh, if you get like, if you get all three uh, leave energy, you can do both attacks. If I don't get the search cards, we're we're sort of fudged here. Uh, no. <laughs> this could have been anything, and yet uh, I already have like a place that you write you. Come on. Uh, I mean, yes, I I see the double colorless. It's that's a win there, but again, it could have been anything. I mean, at least I think I have like two from the first set, so I guess I guess a third one doesn't really hurt if I want to just go into like a Blastoise, Venus, or a Charizard, or any of the stage twos. Uh, another chance here. Yeah, okay, like just. Just good, just good material for a tank. That's pretty much it. Oh my goodness! I already, I'm already like not liking these, man. Uh, these last few packs have been kind of like meant to. Yeah, Jesus Christ! I think I already have a playset of the breeder now, which is actually good, but still. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Like, if I can get at least one, I think I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, the site that says otherwise, uh, we didn't get this, like, we didn't get the, we didn't have the play set for this one. But, uh, bejeebus. Okay, you know what? Uh, Charizard? 
you know what? We'll take a Charizard. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, if we get at least one more copy, I, I think we'd be set for at least a good fire deck if I ever make one. Oh my god! No, I got a third copy! But I need... I just need a Clefairy. The Clefairy is the only thing that I just need to complete, like, at least, like, one set. At least one, like, one of each, like, one card set. Is what I meant. Oh my god! Stop! With the Scyther, what the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus, end me. Oh, uh, he's Mr. Vibes here to save the day, you know, with this, uh, with this presence. Hopefully, he'll give me uh, the luck I need. I highly doubt it, though. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Uh, third copy. You know what? I I don't know if I saw any other copies of Professor Oak before this one. Uh, except for the one that I mentioned, but yeah, you know, three copies of Professor Oak, okay, that's, that's good, you know, yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm getting a lot worried now, oh god, no, <laughs> I think I have like, two packs left, it's really nothing, I gotta hope and pray, Hope and pray to Arceus that I get the one card. The one card. Either one. I don't care. Nope. Okay. Last pack. Here we go. If I don't get it here, I think I might cry on cue. <laughs> Computer search, nor item finder in both sets. How the fuck? Oh my lord. Alright, well, let's just go through the collection. What I got. I mean, of course, I'm, I'm really grateful for some of the cards I got here. But fuck, man. I didn't get the two gender cards. That I was hi highly hoping for. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't even get the stupid Clefairy either. Oh, God. Just a dead Clefable in my collection at this point. Holy shit. Oh, my goodness. You know, I at least we got to play sort of like a couple cards that I didn't get from the first or second set so you know what I guess it's okay but still <sighs> we just gotta work with we gotta work with uh, we're just gonna go through these just a little bit just for you guys to see what I got um but yeah I guess uh without further ado um with adding these to our collection uh, I guess we'll see what we'll make for our deck for this episode. So without further ado, Shadow Enzer, take it away. Alright guys, the expansion for this this week's episode is going to be Base Set 2. Now, Base Set 2, um, <clears throat> I believe it's just, uh, it's kind of like a combination of um, Set 1 and, uh, I'm sorry, expansions of Base Set, the original ba Base Set 1, and jungle now there might be a few cards from i don't know to, i don't know completely but there might be a few cards from fossil but i believe most of the cards in this set is from base set one and jungle now what's going to be interesting here is that now we have a chance of getting multiple 
copies or complete sets of certain rares, uh, rares and rare hollows of of Pokemon we couldn't get before. Like we can get complete sets of the Charizard, complete sets of the Blastoise, complete sets of the Venusaurs, and so on, so on. So this is going to be very interesting. This this episode is going to be pretty interesting because it just it gives us so much access more to more Pokemon to use Pokemon better. Because what's more powerful than having a complete set of a very powerful Pokemon? Maybe Mr. Mime, you're an asshole. <clears throat> Pidgeotto, if I ever want to make a Pidgeot deck, there it is. But I think I need more Pidgeots though. Super Energy Removal, I have plenty of those. Um, don't need any more. Yes, another Pokemon Trader. Yes, I, I want a complete set of that actually. That's the one thing I missed out on, was the traders. Okay, Mr. Mine. Nothing there. Oh, okay. I have, I don't know if it's one or two Venusaurs, but that com that makes three Venusaurs. Okay. That's something to, that's something to, what do you call it? To think about. Okay. Um, no, nothing there. Okay, there's another Pidgeot. If I want to make a Pidgeot deck, I got it. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, another Nino King. Okay, cool. I only I think I only have one or two of him, so that's actually pretty good. Let's keep going. Imposter, another double colorless. Alright, keep going. Nothing there. Uh, Arcanine. Oh, a, a fourth Scyther. Because I think I believe I, I don't know if I only had two or three, but there's another Scyther. So that's pretty. Yes, dude. Finally, a Gyarados. I don't think I got one at all in the regular base set. So now I got a Gyarados. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else. <sighs> nope. Uh, Dragonair maybe, but no. Hmm. Yeah, just keep going, I guess. It's pretty good. This is pretty bad. I don't think I've run into a single Alakazam. So I, don't, I only, I think I only have like one or two of him. Honestly, I don't think I have two. I think I have only one of him. It's pretty bad. I, I I haven't run into an Alakazam. I was hoping to pick one up. Well, if I didn't before, I didn't think I had a place out of Scyther. Now I do. Okay. <laughs> Another computer search. All right, that's pretty good. That's right. These these last packs at the end here are pretty pretty good. All right, let's keep it going. Alakazam. Oh no! But I got another Blastoise. <laughs> yes, that makes three. I don't have a place it, but dude, that's a lot. I, I honestly, do we really need to run for Blastoise? I, I don't think we really need to. I mean, three is enough. Pokemon Trader. I think I think that's my set. I think that's my. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I, I got what I I kind of got what I needed. I wanted the traders. Um, probably pick up a few hollows of other things. I was hoping to pick up more Gyaradoses, but, um, yeah, um, I only picked up one, I believe. Um, yeah. I mean, if I, if I did pack one before in the, in the first episode, I must have not realized it, but, yeah, I only have the one. I only have the one Gyarados. Damn, it's kind of depressing. But. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with this. Um, I'm actually kind of looking at that Jinx. Um, I need to take a second look at that Jinx. I mean, Jinx might be pretty good. Yeah, guys, that's all I packed. Let's see what we can do in deck building. Let's do it. Okay, guys. Uh, so after that uh, whole pack of evening, I had to recuperate a little bit. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Uh, with the uh, with choosing the deck uh 
to battle against the uh, Shadow Windsor. And I decided to go with the Electric Spread deck, um, mainly focusing on uh, Electric Pokemon and um, the gimmick that's behind this one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. All right, so um, main gimmick here is basically uh, doing small damage and chip damage at the same time with using uh, with the electric Pokemon. So to start off, uh, we have Pikachu. Uh, basically, uh, his one attack uh, does 20 to the active, and I can choose whatever Pokemon uh, in his bench to do basically uh, chip damage. Um, basically, the whole idea behind this is uh, I'm trying to do enough damage on both ends to get multiple, like, to get multiple knockouts, basically. I thought of, like, this uh, as soon as, uh, since the uh, jungle, um, and I thought, I guess it would be a good time to show it off in this episode. Uh, so, yeah. Um, moving on. Um... Uh, we got the evolution of Pikachu, the Raichu. Uh, basically, uh, just a little bit more powerful. Um, it does cost uh, two times more than uh, Pikachu's, but uh, the, the payout's a little bit better. Uh, basically, instead of choosing one, I can choose three of my opponent's uh, bench Pokemon, and I can do like small chip damage to each of them. Uh, and then that way, I can just keep putting pressure on those Pokemon while I'm doing like um, like moderate damage to the active. Um, and then here's uh, something that's actually interesting. Um, something I said about uh, in the first episode, uh, I was going to try to build a deck around Magneton, which I sort of did. Uh, so the next Pokemon I'm going to show off is Magnemite. Uh, first attack is okay. Uh, basically, um, if I want to do like minor stalling uh, or a chance to do minor stalling, but the important thing here is the self destruct. Uh, basically, I'm doing tons of damage while doing uh, chip damage to every Pokemon on that field, uh, in, even though it does include my own. But I do have a small sort of solution for that, and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. Um, next Pokemon, or I guess next set of Pokemon. Um, I'm actually running two different copies here of uh, of the same Pokemon. The first one is Magneton, but from the first base set, only one in one, wow, one in, running one copy. Um, not as good as the next one, but um, it still gets the damage done. Uh, but basically, here's the better version, or, or what I would consider the better version, from the fossil. Uh, basically, first attack is a little bit less uh, resources, but I mean, still does the same. And then self destruct uh, does 20 more than the base set version, um, but it still does the same amount of damage regardless to all Pokemon, so which is good. Um, and then. The last two Pokemon I have here aren't really tied to the gimmick, but I thought it would be a good addition to have. Uh, so I decided to add the one copy of Electabuzz uh, from from what I got in the packs. Uh, basically, like I said before, he's a good uh, basic Pokemon uh, with uh, at least using two energy to his full potential. And then uh, Thunder Punch dealing uh, guaranteed 30 plus a little bit more, uh, but again, it just based off RNG, so uh, there's that. Um, and then I guess like the wild card for this uh, deck is the Ditto, which is super weird, but um, I guess I'll give like a small t TLDR. Basically, uh, I can just copy whatever uh, my opponent has on his active side. And then, uh, if I manage to somehow put resource into this thing uh, beforehand, uh, basically uh, he'll just be ready to go and just deal whatever it can, depending on what Pokemon uh, my opponent has. And that's pretty much it for the Pokemon. Um, 
as for the trainers, uh, I do have, um, I did model, I did rearrange a few things. Uh, so to start things off, uh, I decided to have more draw power. So I'm running three copies of Professor Oak, uh, running three copies of Bill. I guess the next uh, card I decided to add, uh, which I didn't for some reason in the last episode, was uh, Recycle. Uh, basically, RNG chance to uh, get a card from my discard pile on top of my deck. Uh, what, and this could be any card, which includes either a Pokemon, Energy, or even a Trainer card. So basically, I can just recycle any card I I choose as long as I get the get the odds. Um, I decided not to run the Pokeball. Uh, for chance to search because I'd rather have a guarantee search than a chance to. And I guess recycle is the only exception because I'd rather get a chance to get any card from at least the discard pile than searching for one in the deck. Um, so there's that. And then um, speaking of searches, I am running four copies of uh, Energy Search. Uh, always a great thing, always a great card to have, like uh, basically a searcher for at least a basic energy card uh, whenever I need it. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, energy Retrieval, uh, in case if I use up too much of my uh, Lightning Energy, uh, Basically, I could just retrieve those back, uh, just in case the free cycle isn't going to work out. Uh, super energy removal, uh, three copies of super potion. Um, even though I'm using uh, my own energy card, uh, basically you could just delay an inevitable or heal up a really good Pokemon that I have on the active. Um, then I have switch, two copies of gust of wind. Um, as always, uh, just in case if uh, if my opponent has a better Pokemon than I do, or if uh, he has a weaker one in the bench, which uh, obviously benefits uh, the gimmick of this deck. Uh, so, as, so which I choose his uh, weak Pokemon, I put chip damage to, easy kill. Um, and then something for, I guess I could say like, as I said earlier, for the solution to the magnetite magnetum problem, uh, basically defenders. Um, I was hoping I would get at least more. I didn't see um, any when I was looking back in the collection. Unfortunately, that it that is terrible. Uh, but I mean, at least I have two here from the base set. Uh, basically, uh, I'm just nullifying the damage done by. Uh, the Magnemite and the Magneton for my own Pokemon. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then, last but not least, 16 copies of Lightning Energy. Now, this deck isn't the greatest. Obviously, it's very gimmicky. Very, um, it's trying to revolve around this one concept. But, I mean, after kind of like, sort of like, playtest, Playtesting this thing, it's actually pretty good, and um, again, I'm actually confident in this deck that it could do its uh, job well done. So um, yeah, I guess uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead get this thing started. All right, guys, we're back in deck building. <clears throat> um, not really much of a difference here. The only thing I added was the Aerodactyl Stun deck. Everything else remains the same. You know, I just still haven't touched the ground deck. I still need to look at that again. Uh, fire deck's the same. I didn't get any more Charizard, so as you can see, that remained the same. Uh, the water deck, yes, there's some differences. I got the new Blastoise, so now Blastoise will be more viable. Um, added the Gyarados, too. Added maybe like one or two Magikarps, just because he's pretty ridiculous. And then, yeah, the deck that I made today and the deck I'm going to be going with is the Aerodactyl Stun deck. Here we go. Alright, uh, let's start with the bottom. Okay. Let's we'll start off with Scythers. We're running the four. Because we, we packed, I think, like two or three jungle. And then we packed 
the other remaining ones that we needed, we packed them in base set two. So we're gonna be running four scythers. Uh, we're gonna be running three him on Lee's, two him on Chance because I only pack these amount, or else I play them more. And we're playing three Aerodactyls and three Mysterious Fossils. Plus, with a bit of a stall tool here, we're gonna play with two Ligatungs. Just in case, maybe, if I get this basic Pokemon right off the bat, look, he's 90 and he paralyzes, which means he can stall for a very long time. The only way I can see this guy getting taken out is if he brings out a very scary uh, fighting-type Pokemon, like, you know, like the, any of these guys will easily take him out. But still, even if they hit him for 40, he still survives by 10, so he just he's a very tanky Pokemon. Uh, that being said, um... Fighting Energies, we're playing 12. Grass Energies, playing 3 for the Scyther. Double Colorless, because of the Lickitung and the Scyther, we're going to play 2. And that's it for the Energies. Now, for the Trainer Cards, we're playing 3 Switches and 3 Gust of Winds. We're going to be want we're gonna be wanting to switch when we can, because some of these guys... Well, actually, no, just... Uh, I believe Aerodactyl and uh, Himon Lee, or Himon Chan. Yeah, Himon Chan. They both require a double retreat cost, so we're going to be wanting to play a bit more switches. Uh, not too much to the point where it, um, you know, it kind of makes us brick on switches, but just in, enough to make sure that we always have a supply of switches to make sure we can keep moving in and out. And the same thing goes for Gust of Winds, to make sure we can hit the right targets in case we did damage on one, and then he recalls, and then we can just do Gust of Wind, finish it off. Bills, I mean, four, I mean, if you have the four Bills, run the four Bills. I expect uh, Alvin to have four Bills by the end of this pack opening because he'll have another chance at them. Professor Oaks, um, I was just going to run one. But considering that I'm running this other card that I'll get to later, I decided to run two. Uh, Pokeball, three, because since we're playing a little bit of Pokemon, we're going to need to get out Pokemon as quick as possible. Um, plus, to search for the Aerodactyls and search for the... Um, all the basic enemy may be pretty good. Po uh, Poke Trader as well, you know. Um, this one's not like Pokeball, so it's like it's way better. It's way better, but in the sense that you have to trade one for one. So that's why I didn't play just nothing but traders because you have to trade. So that's the only downside. Again, two super energy removals. Again, this this card's very strong. Uh, puts sets them back a lot. So I'm, again, I'm only playing two. Energy searches, uh, since I am playing two different type of typings this time, um, I have to play two of these because in case I have the wrong typing in my hand. And the reason why I put two Professor Oaks in this deck profile is I got a computer search from base set two. So now I own two. One from the first base set and the second base set. And that's why I added in the Professor Oak. So um, because I'm going to be discarding cards from my hand to grab a card, therefore I have left less cards in my hand Therefore, I could fire off a Professor Oak and refresh my hand. All right, then we'll do Recycle. I'm just doing one because this is a bit of a gamble. I mean, if I don't get the heads, as you can see, <laughs> I've had a very good luck of not getting heads. <laughs> so I'm only running one just for the time being. Uh, energy Retrieval. Now, uh, I put in a lot of energy in here. So I was just going to play one, but I decided to play two just in case if I have to play Professor Oak to discard my energy cards from the discard pile. Therefore, I can get the energies back with energy retrieval, no problem. And then, yeah, guys, that's the that's the deck profile. Um, this is practically Aerodactyl stun. Um, try to get Aerodactyl out as, as quick as possible. I have no evolutions except for the Aerodactyl. I'm playing nothing but basic Pokemon. So if I can get Aerodactyl like, straight off the bat and set up a few basic Pokemons here and there, he is screwed if he's playing a, a deck with evolutions. So... This is the deck we're going to go with, and let's see how we do. Alright guys, let's get to the battles. Alright guys, episode 4, base set 2. Um, yeah, <laughs> the packs weren't much. Um, practically the same thing, you know. Not really not much to talk about. Maybe probably completed play sets of certain things here and there, but yeah. Yeah, Evan, how you doing, dude? Good, man. Good, good, good. I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but... Um, after that last win, I'm feeling really good, dude. I'm feeling amazing, dude. Uh, yeah, I know. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, I feel good now, but back then, like, holy hell. I I felt like shit after. <laughs> that, that's the old me. This is, this is, 
this is episode for me. We're we're more we're more energized. We're a little bit more into it now. Just forget about the dark past. That exactly. Happened, just like uh, just like just like just like I forgot about episode two a long time ago. All right, guys, let's yeah, do exactly. it, dude. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it, dude. All right. Here we go. The dice roll to see who goes first. All right, I'll roll first, dude. Okay. I got a five. Oh, bullshit. All right. Okay. Six. Damn it. Whew. All right. I will go... You know what? I will go second. Oh, you'll go second. Yeah, okay. so you go yeah. first. Go. Oh, what the heck? Dirty the Scyther? Woo! Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm sorry, dude. You're so screwed. <laughs> yes! Oh, You're oh, so... Wait. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Let's go, let's, let's do this. Dude. Go ahead, dude, you draw. This is gonna be fucking a nightmare. All right, if he's... <laughs> I guess you're just gonna go all aggressive, then. No, who Fuck said that? It. Really? <laughs> no, just kidding. Really? All right. <laughs> Uh, alright, so I guess I'll just start off with the, uh, the magnum right here. Okay, Sit cool. Ready in the corner. And then, uh, we'll uh, play our only trainer card for the turn. Boom! 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 Draw, Draw two. two. Okay. Alright, uh... Cool. Okay, uh, I'll attach an energy to the Electabuzz. And okay. then, uh, we'll just, uh, pass there. So okay. go ahead. Okay. Oh fuck! I should have gone first. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. What, okay. what the hell? What do you All mean? Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Draw for turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. Uh huh. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Wait a what the hell? No! Yeah, wait, <laughs> instead of like... wait, what is that card? Uh wait, well, that card? Uh, Okay, well dude, it's it's a him on Chen. Great! Okay, cool. I'm playing with a Haymaker deck apparently. <laughs> Shit. No fucking Oh my lord. I I already I already foresaw my future. <laughs> It's like in Xenoblade, I'm gonna fucking die before I actually, you know. Alright, dude, and then, and then dude, we're, we're gonna play this, dude. Okay. Go for it. Okay, I need a. Okay, so no, this I one. I can is... do anything else. This is the one that discards, okay. Yeah, you have to discard, I believe, two. Okay. And then search for anything you want. Okay. Let's go look for this card, dude. Oh man, a lot of stuff here. Dude. A lot of a lot of good, good, good stuff here. Dude. What, what do I get? Dude? What do I get? We'll grab this, dude. Oh no! <laughs> the fossils. Oh god. Okay, All here right. we go. To my hand. This is... mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll get out of the deck. We will shuffle. Okay, shuffle my deck. All right. Oh shit. We will play the was... we will play the mysteries fossil mysterious fossil, yeah. mm -hmm. and then oh God, I hate to do this to you, but oh wow, well, dude! <laughs> oh my God, of course. Let me get a fresh Great. hand, dude. <laughs> Great. Woo! Oh, dude, look at that fresh hand. It was beautiful, dude. Uh... <sighs> All right, dude. We can play as many trainer cards as we want, dude. Dude, let's play as Pokeball, dude. All right, go for it. All right, let's flip, dude. Heads, and I get a, go I get a, a Pokemon. Here we go, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck okay. off. No. Yeah, you <laughs> All right, dog. You had enough plays. It's just like that. <laughs> That's basically what the coin flip. That's basically what the coin flip just told me. <laughs> Here we go. That's what we're gonna do. Yep. All right, we're gonna switch. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's zero cost. Well, son of a bitch. For the Hitmonchan? Oh, my God. Why I did I... see the Hitmonchan. Why did, why did I waste that switch? <laughs> Hold on. Great. I used the trigger card, dude. 
Use a trainer card? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice! Oh my god! I'm so stupid! I forgot Scyther has no retreat cards! Why did I use that? Uh, no, that's that's fine. It's worth it. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was well deserved. Oh, great. Alright, um... <laughs> oh my, that's just such a dumb moment. Alright, I put one on him on Chen. You're just gonna do 20? No, with that I'm gonna do Gust of Wind. Oh, Gust of Wind on the... Uh, Bring on that Magnemite, dude. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That is fine. Don't put that in hand, please. What is this thing doing? What the fuck? <laughs> Why'd you just drag it? <laughs> no, I, I am, but... Oh, okay, okay. It's for some reason it's not quick. It's sort of not clicking on the actual card, so it's dragging it to a different area. Oh, okay. I see. All right, go ahead. I already have the switch. Um, yeah, with that I'll jab, dude. Uh, since it's, you're super yeah. effective against it, and knock him out right off the bat. Yeah. And yeah, I'll grab my. I'll grab my price That's card. Great. Yep. I'm yeah. I'm done, dude. I didn't think this was gonna be a bit. Okay, and then with that, I pass my turn. Go ahead. Oh my goodness, man. This absolutely sucks. <laughs> Alright, drop a turn. Oh, of course! Of course! That's why, that's why, that's now. why, that's why I knocked out the Magnemite, dude. I, I didn't want you to freaking evolve him, dude. Uh, Alright, whatever. Uh, second energy. I'm equipping a defender. And I'm just using oh! oh my god! Wow! <laughs> wow! Alright. <laughs> that just happened. Okay. Alright. Uh love of a coin for a chance to do extra ten. If I get tails, I do ten to myself, but because okay. I have defender, it shouldn't work. Uh Wow! Tails. Wow, that that actually is a thing. Wow, that's crazy. The the ten really doesn't do anything to you. That's fucking crazy. Yep. I did. I honestly, I knew what defender did, but I didn't read it, read it properly. That's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. At the end of your opponent's next turn, discard defend. Oh, okay, but you don't get to keep it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. No, it's oh, just until God. the end of your turn. All right. Uh. <sighs> I assume you put the three on him. Yeah, on I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Again, I can't see this. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. At least you can see the counter. So. Oh, you can see the counter. Okay. Perfect. Then. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll pass it to you, man. There's okay. nothing, nothing else I could do. Okay. Fuck, dude. Now you're, I'm in a bit of an impasse here, dude. Okay. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Alright, I'll put one on him on Lee. Um, I actually can't activate anything else. That's pretty bullshit. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll do jab 20, and then it'll just uh -huh. hit you, it'll just hit you for 20. Yep. Okay. Okay. And with that, I will end my turn. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. Okay. Okay. Oh, I guess I got another one of these guys. I guess. Man, okay. might. Um, I'm gonna attach one to. Magnemite. Okay. Uh, and then oh, oh the, throw the, in the defender real quick. Yeah, yeah, the defender's gone by the way. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> screw it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Hoping you don't have a uh, energy. Oh. I'll remove one from. I'll remove one from Magnemite. Okay. And I'll get rid of the one from uh, Hitmonchan. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's... Because if I don't... If you don't have an energy, and if I don't kill it, I can basically, like, stall out for, like, a turn. But, I okay. mean, you know. 
Um, I don't know where the hell I was thinking of dragging this, but <laughs> it's a scarf. Uh, All right. Go ahead. And then I guess I'll do... I guess I'll do Thunder Punch. Okay. Go ahead and flip. Okay. Come on. Ooh, got it. Yes! Uh, all right. All right. That's good. That's good. That's He's good. down, dude. Down for the count, dude. Okay. Okay, now I have to think here. All right, we'll play this. Go do the fossil. Oh, uh, you already have, like, a fucking thing ready then at the go. No, not really. Mm, okay, so... I remember this doesn't work. Like you don't, I don't get a prize card basically if I kill it. Yep, it's just a stall holder. That that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sure. Well, I guess we'll do that. Uh, I got the prize card already, so I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, pass it to you. Okay. Draw for turn. Pretty unfortunate. <sighs> Damn. It's not what I wanted to see. Alright, I'll put down another fossil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... I'll play this. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I, I thought it was something else. Yeah, like I said, um, you, losing that switch kind of messed me up, actually. Yeah. I messed up. Right, let's like close this part down. I don't have to use that as reference. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, could I be a grass or a fighting energy? Yes. All right, I'll put one on him on Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh my... <laughs> okay, I see what you meant. <laughs> what do you mean? It went back to my hand for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess he quit. Yeah. Okay, so I'll add the energy to him on Lee, and with that, I will pass my turn. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll draw for turn. Um, all right, I guess we'll evolve the damn magnemite. The magnemite to magneton. Well, I mean, at least so give me some time at least. Uh, man. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but I mean, I'll. Are you super po? I'll discard oh. an energy okay. to heal off the the like okay. Like not that not like it might matter, but um I'm gonna then activate or I'm gonna play the energy retrieval. Oh, okay, alright, I see. Uh so I'll trade in my switch. Oh, I see. You're going to try and self-destruct? All right, I see. Nah, <laughs> not really. Fudge, because that costs like four, and I definitely don't have enough at that point. You know what the crazy part is, though, dude? Like, self-destruct, mm -hmm. like, it actually does 20 damage to each Pokemon's bench Pokemon. Or to each player's. Yes. Each player's bench Pokemon. So, like, ideally, it can be, like, the last... Like Kamikaze, and then like, if you have a strong enough Pokemon on your bench, you could just take it, like absorb it. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh. Um. Fuck, man. Um. All right, I'm gonna attach an energy again to. Uh, oh. Okay. Let the buzz, and I'm just gonna do Thunder Shock. 
Actually, no. Sorry, no. No, 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 no. Scan cancel, cancel that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do instead, uh, I'm just going to risk it. Gust the win? Gust the win? Gust the win. Yeah. On to Hitmonlee. Okay. I'm just going to have to hope and pray you don't have an energy. And then depending on uh, on what happens on your turn, uh, okay. All right, yeah. I'm just gonna attack with the. Um, I'm gonna attack with Thunder Punch. Okay, flip the coin. Uh, all right, we'll do forty. Damn. We'll That's do forty big, damage. It's a big hit. All right, everything, everything relies on your turn. So with that, I'm passing it to you. All right, draw for turn. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. He he got it. He why is why is he laughing? He, why is he laughing? I already know my fate. All right. I knew dude, at the moment. Uh, was, <laughs> no, no, there was hold on. Nothing I could do. <laughs> dude, okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, dude, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm laughing because, dude, I, I, I didn't deserve to win this because you played it all right. I just happened, cause, dude, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, what do you call it? I didn't have a firing, fighting energy in my hand, so which means I top decked it. I know you did. That's all I was like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, fucking course. Um, yeah, we'll just do high jump kick. Get yeah, he kills. Yeah, he's gonna kill this Electabuzz. Alright. Yep. And Price card. Okay. Yeah, alright, we'll just send out the Manaton. Whoa. Uh... Oh, dude, my, my fossil energy has an electric energy, dude. That's sick, dude. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so either. He just, I just saw it just slide across the freaking the thing. I was like, what? Just slide across your board like, <laughs> fuck you. Like, I know who the fuck the victor was. I don't, I don't, be, I don't be part of Alvin's deck anymore. <laughs> uh, after, after that, I can see why. <laughs> All right, everything relies on this draw. Then go yeah, go ahead, dude. Yeah, I can see. Like. Woo! Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> yes, dude. Hell yeah, dude, I'm just I'm just disappointed I couldn't get the Aerodactyl, dude. I had this in my hand, look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, but dude, I didn't. Wait, what? What happened to it? Actually, I actually don't know. What, I didn't see it. What, what happened? Wait, where'd it go? <laughs> you put it, uh, you put you it know, in the prize cards. Yeah, I put it in the prize card. I'll just reveal them. Like, Alright, let me just reveal mine. Really so I, 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 had the Pokemon, I had the Pokemon Trader in my hand, dude, which is really good for this deck. So I can get the Aerodactyl quick. Want to know the funniest part when I had it? Uh -huh. I, had two, I had two mysterious fossils in my hand, dude. On up. So you can't, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't shuffle those back in because they're not, when they're in your hand, they're not a Pokemon. They're only a Pokemon when they're in play. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. it, it was just dead in my hand. Okay. Let me just set this out so people can see. Alright. Yeah, so I can't believe those were, that was where all my Pokemon were! What the <laughs> <laughs> what were you oh running? Oh my god! <laughs> All my Pokemon were in the prize! I was like, no fucking wonder I couldn't draw anything. Well, actually, now that you think about it, what were mine? Holy shit. Uh, okay. I guess while you're doing that, um, I'm gonna explain what, I guess, my uh, my gimmick was. In case of you, uh, oh my I know god. you, I know, I know the viewers know, but I, I don't think you know about it. Oh, okay, uh, I'm, I'm interested. Dude. Go ahead. What okay, is so basically, yeah, basically it revolves around 
doing damage while doing small chip damage to your bench Pokemon. Oh, yeah, so idea, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. the idea was do as much damage as I can to one of your big ones, and then do small ones to like your while you're setting up, and then potentially if I have like gust of wind, I could just switch it. Yeah. And I also revolving around switch to so get like also set up for like, my other Pokemon who are ready to go. So mostly the the ones that were gonna do the most were gonna be the Pikachu and the Raichu. Mm. And then if I was in a desperate situation, I would just use the the Magnemites and the Magnetons for the self-destruct. That's why I had um, defenders in there as well. That's pretty crazy, Cause actually. Because yeah. you can actually protect your Pokemon with the um, with the defenders. So the, basically, what what I brought was basically like it's it's literally Kryptonite practically. I only, yeah, I was I, looking I, I was looking I was looking through my collections, dude, and um, I only had two Scythers. But then with this base set two, I got two more. So I was like, okay, with the Himon Lees, the Scyth the Scythers, the Himon Chans, and I also threw in their two Lickitungs for stalling. I was like. I can play the area dactyl stun deck, and it won't affect me even in the slightest, dude. Because as soon as yeah. I as soon as I slap down area dactyl, I have no reason to to evolve anymore. Yeah, pretty much. That's so. Like, and the funny part was, dude. Like, if if I would have been able to get the area dactyl off, you wouldn't have been able to evolve that magna magna might to magneton. Yeah. But dude, that, that switch almost actually almost cost me. Dude. <laughs> It almost caused me, but I didn't top deck that freaking fighting energy. <laughs> Man, I'm so frustrated that happened. Uh. I was like, <laughs> I was half confident when I was like, okay, I, I, pretty sure he has one, and if he doesn't, that's great. But then, when as soon as you laughed when you drew your card, I was like, yeah, yeah, he got it. That's it. It's over. Like, what else could I have done? Like, the only, the only. Like you said, the only fucking weakness to my deck is literally what you have, like all these uh, fighting types. You know, you know, there, there is some. No, mm. I have no counter. I have no counter Pokemon that can like deal. Uh, that would have dealt with all the the stuff because, again, it's since it's mixed with like psychic and grass weaknesses. I didn't really know what else I could have done, so I just decided to stick with one typing and hope for the best. And just pray to like pray to Arceus that I, that this <laughs> gimmick would get this job done, but alas, uh, you know you know what he could have done, right? You know, you know what he could have done? Yeah, uh, just build a better deck. Dude. Oh yeah, great. <laughs> you know what I needed, dude. <laughs> just kidding. <dude. laughs> All right. Uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything, dude. Um, uh, my, my strategy, I've already explained it to you what it was, you know, it was just pretty, practically Aerodactyl stun for all evolutions and just play nothing but just basic Pokemon to just be as aggressive as possible. Um, yeah. it just kind of didn't pan out, um, and plus you kind of almost, act, I do honestly though, if, if my him on Chan, if I would have decided to put a second one of him on Chan and wasted an energy, and you did super energy removal, that would have sucked, and that's why I didn't do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My my deck was just stunned and aggressive. That's pretty much what it was. And yeah, it's just unfortunate, dude, that um that you were electric and I was you know fighting. So and you were pretty much just weak to that. You can't really do anything to the against that. Well, at least for one thing, we didn't fucking mirror match. But it was it was the worst for me <laughs> on my end. Yeah, I was really gonna say that. I was like, now now no one can say it's a conspiracy. All right, there you go. He played yeah. electric. I played fighting. There you go. Oh my goodness! So what happened was we we got in a call before. And I was like, dude, just play electric so I can be. You know, I'll I'll throw you some money underneath <laughs> the table, dude. <laughs> throw the match, like fucking. Like, oh. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I did that. Like, uh, I mean, it's not believable because considering your reactions are very genuine. So like, it'd be different. So you're like, oh no, fighting. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there it is. Uh, episode four. I mean, that one was very quick. Um, oh yeah. Uh, speaking of um, fucking wins and losses, what did you get on your wheel? Oh yeah, I got a common, dude. <laughs> oh, <you see? laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, so disappointing, dude. <laughs> Could have been anything. And yeah. Comment. <laughs> yeah, dude. A comment of fucking bold shit. Like, that what the sucked, fuck? dude. Well, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, that'll do it. Um, so, yeah. Score goes 3-1 three, three, to me. Um, 
Alvin, you just got pretty lucky today. I mean, unlucky. You got pretty unlucky today, so, I mean... Yeah, I, I really yeah. hope they were... You would have done a different deck, except for <laughs> this one. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's why I decided to make different decks, because you never know what, what one person's going to play, and that's, this literally proved it. So, yeah, um, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode, guys. Um, uh, Alvin, you got anything left to say? Any last remarks? But yeah, um... Actually, I actually had a lot of fun with this duel over this battle. Mm -hmm. um, again, uh, at least I did like, despite not having like the best hand to start mm -hmm. off with. I I I thought I did pretty good up to where I it sort of declined. So I'm not mad at that, but it could have been better. Yeah, I mean it's it's like like I said, dude. I had said it before. Like, what was gonna happen after this base? I do. It was just gonna just elevate the strategies a little more. So you're gonna want to try this. You're gonna want to try that. So there's gonna be more options. So, mm -hmm. and as you can see, you know, both of us literally went in two different directions. Um, you you went for one of your actual ideas from the first episode, and I went with what I was planning to play possibly last episode. Although I didn't build a deck, but I, you know, I was thinking about it. Yeah. So yeah, um, that'll pretty much do it for you know base set two. That's pretty much it. Uh, three one goes to me, and then we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Yep. All right, see you guys.